goosebumps on my goosebumps. Excellent. The hands on the back of my everything are standing on end. Sussy, please stop crying or we're going to have to call the Coast Guard. Everyone, let me introduce our new soloist. Well done, Tom. Well done, Darwin. <laughs> well done, man. I'm really proud of you. Are you sure? Of course. Because you're kind of breaking my hand right now. Oh, sorry, dude. It's because I'm so proud. <laughs> All right, stop. What's the problem? Nothing. I'm pleased for you. Really? Because your face doesn't look pleased. Trust me. On the inside, I'm pleased. I hope you crash and burn, Darwin Waters on! You lie. What's the problem? <sighs> I'm sorry, man. It's just, it was fun to be losers together, but it's kind of depressing to be one just by myself. <laughs> Come back to guilt trip me when you can actually muster a tear. Yeah, whatever. Darwin? I just want to say that in spite of the fact I was discarded like a slice of pickle in a cheeseburger, I thought you played beautifully, and I'm glad you're playing the solo at the parade. Thank you. Although I am a little bit nervous. I get very self-conscious in front of crowds. Well, I just imagine them without their clothes on. <laughs> does it work? Of course it does. Try it. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> Sorry, Darwin. Well done on being the new soloist, by the way. When I was your age, I played the bongos. Hours and hours of slapping those skins made me the man I am today. Anyway, see you at the parade. Whoopsie, missed one. No, I can still see it. I'll just go practice somewhere on my own. Just use words. Are you gonna try and guilt trip me again? Would it work? No. Then all I want is a hug. <sighs> all right, I gotta get back to rehearsal. Is this how it's gonna be? Yep. <sighs> Dude, you're gonna make me late! I know. Dude, they started! I've gotta be late for my solo! Yep, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay, now that you're all tuned up, let's take it from the top. We weren't tuning up. I'm afraid that was it, Principal Brown. Are you kidding me? We only have a few rehearsals left, so if you don't make a significant improvement, I'm canceling the parade. Now, how do we get better? Through a training montage! Precisely, Sussy. But we don't have time for that, so I'm just gonna tear these calendar pages off while we play. <laughs> on time for your solo. Give me that. <gasps> Someone has sabotaged Darwin's instrument. Hmm. I have no idea why I just did that. It was pretty obvious it was gum. Which means it could only be you, gum ball. What? Why? Uh, because it's gum. Gum ball. It adds up. What kind of proof is that? Because all you've been trying to do is drag me down to your level. You've been jealous from the start. You tried to stop me getting to rehearsal. And when you didn't succeed, you sabotaged my swanny whistle. Dude, I would never do that to you. That's it. You are banned from the band. You are done raining on our parade. <sighs> Been waiting to say that for weeks. Oh, good, good, good ball, wait! <gasps> That's cool property. <sighs> and remember. You are playing not for yourselves, not for your family, not for your country, but to not embarrass me in front of hundreds of people. Take it from the top one last time. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Huh? You scared me. Hey, you know, I just wanted to say that, well, I know you're nervous about playing in front of all those people, but you've got a real talent, man. Yeah, you're playing small school stadiums right now, but tomorrow you could totally be playing on subway trains or outside a mall with people throwing money in your hat. And you know I didn't sabotage your swanny whistle. You believe me, right, dude? Right? Dude? <gasps> Someone else really is trying to bring down Darwin. First the swanny whistle and now this. But who could it be? It could be anyone. Everyone's a suspect. There's no way of knowing who did this. 